Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today I'm sharing with you the spring to summer haul. This is part two. Part one was a last video where I shared with you a ton of fragrances that were more casual, daytime, playful. Today we're focusing on less fragrances, but everything that is more going out and a lot stronger. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it up over here. And with that, let's get started. If you are new, hi, welcome. My name is Moraima. In this channel, I share some of my favorites, anything from fragrance, self-care and decor. So if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so, so much for all the support because you're here and because you are supporting my channel I'm able to continuously produce more videos so thank you so so much so let's get started with our first perfume the next perfume I'm going to talk about that we've added to the collection is definitely a classic I was very relentless at first to get it because I was only focusing on the original but then I ventured more into the flankers and the perfume I'm talking about is Carolina Herrera Good Girl. Now this is the um, Leger version, which has a little bit more of a like tonic feel. And obviously it's very iconic, the bottle that everyone loves. I mean, this high heel, I wish I could still wear stilettos like this on a daily basis. I mean, back in the days, those were the good old days, right? This perfume is very fresh and yet sexy. And what I definitely look for in a perfume like this is that it has a really good longevity. So let's give it a good spray. I'm sure you've seen other reviewers talk about it. I'm just gonna give you real quick my take on it. The perfumes that are a little bit more popular. I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, briefly review them. And then the other ones that are a little bit less common on the platform, I'll get a little bit more in depth. Oh, it doesn't get old. It doesn't get old. It's so sexy, like tonic and gourmand. And although obviously we're talking about spring and summertime, when perfumes I think shine the most is when you can actually have some skin exposed. I don't know if it happens to you that you wear an amazing fragrance and then it's winter time and you have to put like 20 layers of clothing on. I mean, that's me who wears like 20 layers. By the time you get to your destination, if you don't have anything to top it off, no matter how strong the perfume is, it has been absorbed by all the fabric. So what I like about a, a strong perfume like this, a very sexy fragrance, is that you wear your body oil, your moisturizers, and then you put this on top and the perfume just shines all night long. This is a beautiful, let's take a look at the notes. So this is um, on the main accords, we're talking sweet, white floral, lactonic, woody, citrus, warm amber, I'm sorry, warm, spicy, yellow floral, and vanilla. If you've watched the other video, then you probably know that I'm a latonic freak. I love, love anything that is sweet gourmand latonic. And on the notes, we're looking, the top notes, ylang ylang, mandarin, orange, lemon, and bergamot. This is the type of ylang ylang that I like. I'm not too crazy about ylang ylang all the time when it's too dominant, but here is so well blended. Then on the middle notes, we have jasmine, tuberose, orange blossom, Bulgarian rose. And on the base is where this fragrance shines. Dulce de leche, tonka bean, proline, sandalwood, cinnamon, amber, cashmere wood, musk, patchouli, and cedar. That is like a mouthful. So many notes, yet so well blended. I love when a fragrance complements you. It doesn't overpower you. The idea of an accessory as a fragrance is to make you feel prettier and to make you uh, stand out, not necessarily the fragrance to stand out. This is a fragrance that to me makes you sexier, makes you smell sexier, look sexier, not the type of fragrance that is going to stand out on its own. Uh, once again, this is Carolina Herrera, Good Girl, Leger. Next up is another fragrance that has been all over YouTube, especially since last year. And uh, for some reason, I didn't want a blind buy because I did too many blind buying now. But now that the store started to open up, I was really able to smell it. And I was able to get my hands on a tester bottle, which was super, super affordable. And it's again, a super sexy, dark, inviting type of scent. Perfect for a date night out, going out outside, indoors, outdoors, doesn't matter. And this is uh, Dolce Gabbana, the only one intense. Again, the box is like this because it's a tester bottle, but they are just exactly the same as the regular perfume. I was able to get this one pretty affordable. I believe uh, 
$40, something like that. Yeah, about $40. I paid for this bottle and it's a gorgeous classic black bottle, beautiful coconut base type perfume. And it's just, let's give it a spray. This is a beautiful, seductive, amber floral fragrance with a touch of coconut. In some people I've heard is more predominant than others. In me, thank God the coconut shows up. I wish it would be a little bit stronger. According to what I've heard, some people it's really, really dominant. On me, it's just moderate. Oh, but it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, so let's take a look at the notes. Main Accords, we're talking white floral, vanilla, woody, citrus, coconut, sweet, fresh, and powdery. Must have, definitely a must have. On the top notes, we have Neroli, green apple, and Italian mandarin. On the middle notes, we have jasmine, coconut, and orange blossom. And on the base notes, we have vanilla, cashmere, and cedar beautiful beautiful creamy enveloping ambery it doesn't have amber but it's very ambery i don't know why it doesn't but it really comes across so if you like that vibe of coconut and tropical and uh, very like tonic ish uh, type of scents but they're usually more daytime scents and you want something for the evening time you want something to go out clubbing uh, a little bit more formal this is your fragrance so this is going to give you that coconut that uh, gourmandish um, tropical vibe but in an upscale elevated evening time type of uh, fragrance and this, I believe, this is a 100 ml and it's an eau de parfum. So it's a lot more concentrated in the oil uh, concentration. It's gonna last a long time, it's gonna project. I would say a good six to eight hours for sure, depending again if you overspray, if you don't overspray, if you moisturize prior to, or and so on and so forth. So always moisturize before, not after. Again, this is Dolce & Gabbana, the only one intense. The next one is the evening version of the daytime version that I spoke about in the other video where I spoke about uh, the house of Dior. And again, it's a house that I was very reluctant to try, but at the end of the day, I got some really good recommendation. I got to smell it in uh, the store and then I've been, I was able to really pick up a bottle. I think I just needed to grow. I needed to become a little bit more mature to be able to appreciate this type of sense and again we're talking about the house of dior and this is poison girl now this is the eau de parfum version not the eau de toilette i know that the eau de parfum has been discontinued it's a little bit of a darker juice this is what the bottle looks like it's one of those beautiful apples i know you've seen it over and over again but it's a really good classic so this is what happened i heard that it got discontinued and but it was still kind of like around which is still a little bit around if you look hard enough in a few of the discounter sites and I was like I need to get my hands on a bottle before it actually is completely gone because the eau de toilette is so much lighter than the eau de parfum and I wanted that strength I wanted that beast mode that this fragrance can potentially offer so I finally was able to get my hands on one um, fairly inexpensive again I tried to get a deal as much as I can this is an orange blossom with vanilla. I love vanilla, as you can see so, so far. It's an amazing, amazing fragrance. Let's take a look at the notes. The main accords are vanilla, sweet, almond, powdery, amber, citrus, nutty, fruity, wood, warm, and spicy. So again, amber, vanilla, as I said, but in a different take, you're probably starting to think that all my fragrances are <laughs> smell the same, but they don't. I can assure you they don't. That's the beauty. When you like a particular genre, florientals, gourmands, freshy, dry, woody, leathery type notes, there's so many varieties of perfumes that come within that one category. And the perfumers that are really good perfumers and houses that produce really good fragrances can can give you something that is within that realm of the things or the fragrance profile that you like yet different types of fragrances they're not necessarily dupes of each other so a lot of these notes are starting to sound very similar if you've seen my other videos um, bitter orange lemon at the top then in the middle we have damask rose grass rose orange blossom and in the base notes, we have vanilla, almond, tonka bean. We have tolu, balsam, sandalwood, cashmeran, and heliotrope. So a very well-rounded fragrance. I would say, uh, again, evening time, 
going out date restaurant with the girls not necessarily extremely formal like i wouldn't see this fragrance with a gown or going to a very formal event it's not necessarily the type of fragrance that is going to handle uh, that type of event or the way you're going to be dressed and some people actually consider this fragrance a very cozy stay-at-home type of fragrance because the vanilla the tonka bean the sandalwood they're notes that are very very cozy it turns into a very cozy scent but if you overspray this to give you enough longevity and projection and you can maybe maybe top it off once you're out it's going to give you a good six hours it's a really really good perfume i say again the eau de toilette is a little bit lighter that could be more during the day and the eau de parfum is more of an evening offering if you can to try to get your hands on it it's still around and some of the discounter size is not directly in the dior website or in the department stores if you can find it then snag it because it's not going to be around for much longer once again this is poison girl by dior the next fragrance is a beautiful amber floral that i rarely hear anyone speak about in youtube and it's an amazing find it's a rare gem beautiful fragrance super inexpensive I mean, it ticks all the boxes. And this is called Place Vendôme by the house of Boucheron. This is an eau de parfum. It's a beautiful, as I said, amber floral. The bottle is gorgeous. It's really, really nice. Look at this juice. Look at this juice. It's a beautiful glass, curved glass bottle with a plaque for the name. The lid is beautiful. You can't, I don't know if you can't really appreciate it, but it's a beautiful, it's a heavy lid. It's a heavy bottle. It's a beautiful bottle and it has one of those stones at the top that it just, it looks, it reminds me of, you know, those magnetic, those nail polishes that you pass a magnet on top and it kind of like turns into like beautiful shades of metallic. That's what the lid looks like with the gold at the bottom. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This fragrance, as I said, is a beautiful amber and uh, let's give it a spray. Mmm. Yes, like I said, the beauty in this fragrance is how much it costs. It's really inexpensive. I think I paid, um, it's somewhere around $49 or $45 on the discounter sites. I'm going to leave a link below. It's incredible. Mm. Vanilla, seductive, evening. This says, I'm ready to go out. I'm all set. It gives me confidence. Mmm it's beautiful it's beautiful let's talk about the notes main accords sweet white floral honey citrus floral amber rose fresh soft spicy and warm spicy so we got the soft and the warm and as i said um the top notes we're starting with mm, the beautiful orange blossom tangerine pink pepper and rose and that tangerine let me tell you it actually you can actually smell the touch of tangerine, which is a little bit different from having the any other citrus. It's a, it just makes it that touch of a little bit different, but not too different that it's unpleasant. It's it's beautiful, and with the orange blossom and the pink pepper and the rose, it's a beautiful, beautiful opening. In the middle notes, it gets a little bit different. We got honey, jasmine, proline, and pinoy. On the base notes, we have benzoin and cedar. Again, a very safe, beautiful fragrance that is going to give you confidence, that is going to make you feel like it's definitely complementing a beautiful outing for a night on the town with the girls, date night. It, it applies to all of that. Also, not the type of fragrance that I would definitely use for gown. Like those, I'm going to have to make another video that is definitely extreme evening type of fragrances but this one is beautiful 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 uh like i said super inexpensive i'm gonna put some links below i think i paid like 40 45 dollars for it for 100 mil projection and sillage is great i would say it's gonna last a good six to eight hours and it's i just don't know how it's not more talked about because it's really really good once again this is place vendome by boucheron talking about affordable fragrances guys the next one i almost almost wasn't able to get it but i've been after it for the longest time it's a beautiful cheapie that performs like a beast a beast a beast a beast and this is rose gourmand by sarah i mean guys look at the price i don't know if you can see does it show maybe no 29 dollars 
$29 for 80 ml. And this is also Eau de Parfum. When I tell you that this fragrance is beast, beast, beautiful. Usually Zara perfumes are not necessarily the best on performance. They may have beautiful profiles. I don't know if you can see in the back, I have Rich, Warm and Addictive, which is a beautiful fragrance, very boozy style um, fragrance, but unfortunately it lasts 30 minutes, not even, and that's if you're lucky. This will last you all day long. Look at this beautiful glass bottle with a silver, the silver cap, I mean, the, the gold cap is it's a little cheap it's not very weighted the bottle however very very weighted this i guess this bottom part makes it very um heavy this is an exact dupe not an exact dupe a very close dupe to montal intense cafe i'm going to make a video exactly putting them side by side together and battling there's one note that makes it different and that one note makes a difference enough that both are equally beautiful and sexy but anyways let's talk about this perfume let's spray it over here Just you see that mister oh my god oh my goodness it is so sexy it's so nice it's so incredible and so affordable it is crazy and it performs like a beast i mean sillage performance max 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 this is like mancera montal level it's incredible let's take a look at the notes so what do we have here rose for the main accords rose vanilla amber powdery floral and for the notes very simple Although I seriously doubt that this is all there is in here. They say top notes, rose, middle notes, amber, and base note, vanilla. Three notes to create this masterpiece? I don't know. There's something behind it that they're not telling us. But like I said, guys, really hard to find. It goes in and out on the website uh, from being sold out. I think this has been one of the most, besides a rich, warm, and addictive, I think this has been one of the most purchased uh, fragrances I remember that I had it on my basket and then I went to eat came back and it was out and I called customer service and I was like I had a product in my basket how come it's not available they're like oh maybe it went out of stock I'm like I just stepped out of my desk for two seconds how could it be out of stock already oh it happens you have to put your name and get notified whenever it comes back in stock but as soon as it did oh my god it is so 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 worth it so worth it even if you don't want the performance of this particular fragrance, again, we can do the trick, as I said on my other video, the trick, you just spray the air, walk into it, you're just gonna get a much lighter version of what this fragrance is, but if you like a jammy rose, a very ambery vanilla, it's beautiful, 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 beautiful. I just can't stop raving about it. I love it. Again, very similar to Montal and Tess Cafe, just a little bit different, but that little bit different is really good on both ends. And I'm gonna make a video about that. So let me know down below if you have Montal and Tess Cafe, if you have smelled this fragrance, and if you uh, think that they're alike. Again, this is Rose Gourmand by Zara. The very next fragrance is another one that I'm not gonna spend too much time on it because it's been talked about over and over and over again everywhere, but it is one that you have to have in your collection. I mean, this is just like a staple and I was so anxious to really get a hold of this fragrance when I restarted my collection because I just it couldn't understand the, what was the, the hype all about. Everybody explained it in such an incredible way. I just needed to get my hands on it. And you've heard it before, Delina. The beautiful Delina by Parfum de Mali. This is an incredible, beautiful presentation and obviously everything goes with the price. It's an incredible, beautiful fragrance that takes you spring and summer. I mean, it's, it's definitely where I think this fragrance shines. During the winter, yes, it's strong enough because obviously being a niche perfume, it's able to withstand colder weathers, but I just don't think that for me on my skin, the profile, uh, the scent profile just elevates or gives me the wintry vibes. So definitely for me, this is where this fragrance shines is in the spring and the summer and maybe even the fall. I know that they have the other flankers that came out, which is the Lina Exclusive, and I want to get my hands on it. It is beautiful. It's my second favorite and sometimes even my favorite. That would be like my winter Delina and this would be like the spring, summer, 
maybe fall. Um, Delina La Rose, uh, I don't, I smelt it. I was able to get a sample on it and, you know, I don't think I need to have it. I don't need to think, I don't think I need to have this one and the other one in all three. Um, if it was ever gifted to me, obviously I would welcome it with open arms. The craftsmanship is so well made. I mean, you feel that this perfume was done with intention that the house pays attention to detail all the way from the tassel to the engrave in the bottle the swarovski on the tip of the cap which is super heavy it's just it's just a beautiful fragrance all around so the hype is real there is i was spraying the microphone and not the blotter <laughs> mm, this fragrance is so beautiful it has a greenness that opens right away that tells you right 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 at the beginning this is a fragrance to feel fresh to feel pretty to feel uplifted the rhubarb the rose mm, it's invigorating it's inviting it's oh my god i don't think there's anything out there like that um in all honesty there are a few other perfumes that are trying to become dupes and I have a few others that I'm going to make a video that are very similar to Delina but oh, this is hard to imitate this is really hard to imitate let's take a look at the notes which I'm sure you've seen rose floral fresh fruity musky green aromatic woody powdery and tropical so it's considered a floral fragrance obviously and the top notes we start with that lychee rhubarb bergamot and nutmeg on the middle notes we have Turkish rose, peony, musk, petalia, and vanilla. And on the base notes, we have cashmeran, cedar, Haitian vetiver, and incense. And I don't smell the incense, but it definitely, it's just a so well blended, guys. When you have masterpieces like this that are so well blended, the compilation of notes is they work collectively in a way that you would have never thought some some of the things that would be included in 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 fragrances like this but anyways enough about it you've heard it delina is one of those that you gotta have it's a must it's definitely a must in anyone's staple just like baccarat it's hyped for a reason once again that is delina by parfum de marley and the last one but certainly not least we are going to talk about another favorite house that i've discovered recently and they make incredible masterpiece this is another fragrance that is great for the evening time going out date night going out with the girls or going even going clubbing but mainly i would say closer encounters because it's a beautiful beautiful seductive attractive um but tender type of uh perfume and this is rolling in love by killian i guess i have to turn the bottle the box a little bit this is what the box looks like killian house is incredible it comes with a little card and this is what the fragrance looks like inside it is amazing it is so beautiful this is another beautiful amber floral that it is just incredible let's just give it a spray i need a blotter card to me again i feel that this one would be a lot better suited for date nights i wouldn't wear this clubbing uh, you can you'd have to just overspray uh, because it's very much of a skin set. It's not as beast as, for example, a Baccarat Rouge or something like that, but it has incredible performance. Mm. Oh, it's so beautiful. And the bottle, the bottle. Let's talk about the bottle real quick. They come in uh, 50 ml, but the beautiful part about it is that even though they come in only 50 ml, all of the Killians, um, for the most part, do, they are all refillable bottles because Killian, which is Killian Hennessy by uh, the liqueur company as well, he believes that the bottles shouldn't be thrown away. These are masterpieces that he wants people to instead of throwing them away to keep them to decorate their vanities it's a beautiful bottle um i'm going to try to see if i can make it justice so it has they're all different colors this is red right and on the side it has a beautiful engraving very very nice it's a beautiful gold cap nicely weighted again it's a 50 ml so it's not the biggest bottle it's a very delicate type of bottle but this deep red just oh Hmm. So Killian wanted to imitate what it would be the rolling in love. Like if you were 
always like literally like rolling in love in in if love would be a silk sheet or something like that and you're rolling into it what would it smell like and oh it's gorgeous it's definitely a masterpiece let's take a look at the notes so we have the main accords are floral vanilla almond powdery musky tuberose sweet iris white floral and nutty and then for the top notes we have starting with almond and ambrette on the middle notes, we have iris and freesia. On the base notes, we have tuberose, vanilla, tonka bean, and musk. Again, beautiful, beautiful fragrance. As I said, to me, this is a lot more appropriate for a date. This is a lot more appropriate for when you want close encounters, when you want to attract that one person and to get intoxicated by you. Not necessarily where you want to enter a room and for everyone to smell you before you're actually there. It's a beautiful, beautiful offering from the house of Killian. And I know that a lot of people are into love, don't be shy. But for some reason, this is the one that attracted me first after that. And then a second one um, that is coming in another hall. Uh, there's another Killian that I really really like but this was definitely love at first size it was my very first love and I just had to have it and I just had to add it to the connection so once again this is rolling in love by the house of Killian well that's it for today thank you so so much for being here I hope you've enjoyed these fragrances that I've shared with you today let me know in the comments below if you have any of them if you've had any experience which one you like best or which one were you considering or thinking about getting into I would love to know if there's any other recommendations that you want me to make a video on please don't be shy that is where I want to get together and talk with you this is not a monologue this is a dialogue we start chatting and we're able to build a beautiful family don't forget to subscribe become a part of the family please give this video a thumbs up because all of those little actions let the algorithm know that this video is interesting and it's worthy of continuing to grow and the more I'm able to grow the more I'm able to bring you fragrances and beautiful reviews so thank you so much for being here today. Until the next video, bye.